Yeah, proud of our players. Um, our 20th win of the season. Had a lot of objectives this first year in Oxford. Um, that was one of them. And so, um, you know, we're playing relative games in the month of March. Uh, two left in the regular season. So, um, team win. Um, a lot of adversity tonight. You know, Al Flanagan, one of our best players, uh, had a little hamstring situation, so he couldn't play in the second half. So, obviously, we had some guys step up and have some individual performances. Um, so, I'm proud, proud of the team. This guy to my left, especially. Any questions for Matthew Morell from Memphis? Uh, Matt, for, from your opinion, what were kind of the biggest differences between the first and the second half? Um, for me, with our intensity, I feel like our intensity dropped in the second half, and that allowed them to get back in the game. You know, and then, of course, home crowd, you get the crowd inside, you get the momentum. You know, we just tried our best to, you know, try to silence the crowd each time coming down the court. Any more questions for Matt? Uh, Matt, in, this, in the game as a whole, you had five of your 11 fields came from three. Like, what was kind of the specific part that was helping you get more points from beyond the arc? Um, we knew that was switching, and, you know, we, we, we scouted that. So, you know, slips, pop backs, you know, just reading the defense. You know, we was able to, I was able to read the defense on some plays and get open shots, and I was able to knock them down. I got hurt the first half. Hamstring. Yeah, Coach, what do you feel like were some of the things that Mizzou was doing well that, that allowed them to come back a little bit? And then how were you guys able to hold up at the end to hold them off? Yeah, Mizzou's well coached, uh, period. And, um, you know, I, reflection of uh, what kind of organization you have is obviously, you know, how, how you handle success. Um, you see a lot of kind of one-hit wonders in this business, and that's certainly not Missouri. And unfortunately, we all go through kind of seasons like Missouri's having right now, and you absolutely see a team's kind of character under tough times. And I, I've i watched every game they played, and uh, there's zero quit in this team. So a lot of respect for coaching staff here. And um, I mean, look, East is one of the best players in college basketball. He's very, very efficient. Like, there's a lot of guys that can have a 30-point game, but I mean, he does it on 12 shots. And um, he's just got a poise about him. So he's definitely one of the best players in college basketball. And believe it or not, we had some game plan focuses around him. Didn't look like it, uh, but give him all the credit. He's a dynamic player. So um, I think above all, that's a team that has zero quit. Um, a lot of character in that team. And I'm not in that locker room every day. Uh, Coach and I don't know each other that well. We don't swap Christmas cards or anything. But I've been doing this long enough to know when a team has a culture. And um, there'll be brighter days ahead in terms of the win-loss record here at Missouri, no doubt about it. Um, and this team's got a lot of fight. I mean, they've been in every game. You guys have seen it. And um, you know, free throw line was good to us tonight. We hit just just enough to kind of get, get by. Um, kind of the tell of two halves. We played really well in the first half. Um, I agree with Matt. Uh, in the second half, I thought Missouri was aggressive um, and, and caused us a lot of problems. Coach, what was the what were some of the specifics of the preparation for Shawnee's building up to this game defensively? Hey, he's just a dynamic player. He's not a one level scorer. He can score at three levels. He's not just a scorer. He can play make as well. Um, and he doesn't rest on defense. Um, I'm sure there's some possessions from time to time, but he obviously has a heavy load on his shoulders offensively, but I think he's very competitive defensively too. So um, his ability to play with his back to the basket. You know, I think translates to pro basketball for him. And I don't, I don't know what year he is. What year is he? He's a graduate senior. Yeah, thank God um, for us. <laughs> um, no, he's a really good player. He, um, you know, you start talking about first team all conference in this league. If there's five guys better than him, I, I haven't coached against him. He's a dynamic player. Their coaching staff does a great job setting him up to have space and empower him to make big plays. He's a really, really good player. All right, thanks, y'all. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Coach.